show you each of these pillows that we're going to be testing out here in January at my office, as seen on Dr. Desiree's. This is the Tricore pillow. This is from Core Products. This is the pillow I personally use, so I highly recommend it. It has this indent in it. Let's see if I can show you the back. It has this little cutout indent where you can put your head. Your neck will curve perfectly over the spot. Puts that curve in the neck that I like to see, so it'll curve over to keep that support. This side is a little thinner. This side's a little thicker. So depending on how broad your shoulders are, it should work for you depending on which side you prefer. And then if you sleep on your shoulder, um, they also say you can like kind of prop your neck up a little bit more on the sides. Um, if you don't want to roll your shoulder forward or you have a really firm bed, you can use these side areas here to um, tuck under your shoulder. Really nice supportive contour pillow that um, keeps that neck in the proper position. That is the Tricore pillow from Core Products. I'm gonna talk about the Good Roll pillow. This is a buckwheat cervical pillow. This was actually designed by a chiropractor. We've given away a lot of these. Um, We've had the adult version where it doesn't have the cartoon on it, but we have a couple kid ones that I wanted to um, use for our trial to see if you like it. Now, the thing I like about buckwheat is you can mold it, you can scrunch it up, you can really snuggle it in under your neck, um, keep your shoulder good. Or if you're on your back, you can, again, snuggle it in so you get this really nice curve in your neck all night long. I like this also because you can use it um, it's pretty small, so you can use it also as a really nice lumbar support and use it on your back for uh, proper sitting. So if you uh, read sitting up or watch TV in bed, this good roll pillow would be a really nice option to try. Even if you don't use it for your neck, it's nice to have uh, maybe to prop yourself up. Or you can also put it under your knees if you're sleeping on your back put it under your knees to kind of prop them up while you're sleeping. Really cool option. The next pillow I wanted to show you is um, actually one that was recommended to me. Um, I am not a huge fan of feather pillows, but if you have ever slept at a fancy hotel and loved their feather pillows, this is the one you're gonna wanna try. It is from Down Dreams. It is supposed to be one of the best quality down pillows that you can buy, a nice feather pillow. So again, a nice thing about feather pillows is you can bunch them up uh, to your to your liking. You can also hug them if you kind of sleep on your stomach but roll over. It's kind of a nice support that way. So the one thing I do like about feather pillows is you can fluff them up if you want it to be really thick or you can mash them down if you're say sleeping on your st stomach or um, kind of roll to the side. It's a little bit more flexible as far as uh, positioning it. So that is the feather pillow we're going to test out. And then the next pillow we're going to test out is called this purple pillow. If you have ever heard of purple mattresses, they make a pillow to go with it. Now, uh, the the technology on it is pretty cool. It's like this purple grid and it's pretty squishy, uh, it's a weird kind of gel-like pillow. It almost feels like space. It's hard to describe. So I'm gonna show you this. So here it is, I've just kept it in the bag for now. Um, but the nice thing about this pillow is it's very squishy. It's very, it's got, like I said, these um, grids in it. I do really like the purple mattress. I think it's a really well-designed bed. Um, Purple pillow, I like if you are a side sleeper. It's really cushy and supports the shoulder. If you are a back sleeper, I don't necessarily like this as much. It feels really cool at first, but instead of getting a nice curve in your spine, it almost like props you up a little bit too much back here. You'll have to try it for yourself, but I haven't found that the purple pillow is to my liking for back sleeping, but really nice for side sleeping and protecting that shoulder. All right, this is the Doze Ace pillow. This is how it came. I bought it online and it came packaged like this. So I am gonna open it up here. 
here. I like to compress these pillows. All right. So here's the Doze A's pillow. And this one is supposed to be a contour pillow. Here we go. It's going to take a little bit to fill out. I'm gonna take a little bit to fill out here since I just opened it. But this Dozy's pillow is kind of cool. It's contoured. It's supposed to keep you in um, the position you want to stay in. So this might be a nice pillow if you're trying, if you're a stomach sleeper and you're trying to train yourself to stay on your back. It has a nice curve here so you can, um, you know, stick your head and your shoulder in there. It's kind of a, uh, nice feeling pillow it's almost like a a memory foam feeling um so i think that it's gonna once you're in the position that you like it's gonna keep you in that position so if you're really trying to stay in one spot this is gonna be a nice option i don't think this one's gonna be as good as because you aren't gonna be able to like scrunch it up or flatten it down it's going to be more of a supportive pillow this might be the one you would want to try if you like uh, support if you like firm beds if you want to stay in one spot this might be a really nice option this contour pillow from dozes